In this captivating YouTube video, we delve into the annals of history to explore the rise and fall of nations. From city-states to once thriving kingdoms, we uncover the intriguing stories behind the disappearance of 22 countries. Join us through a fascinating journey, unraveling the surprising reasons that led to their demise. If you enjoy my content, I would really appreciate it if you could give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and share my videos, it means the world to me. Venice, the most serene republic, flourished for over a thousand years. Established in 697, this renowned city-state emerged as a significant force in maritime and economic affairs, allowing its immensely prosperous merchant class to indulge in extravagant expenditures on magnificent architecture and art. During its zenith, Venice extended across present-day northeastern Italy, as well as portions of Croatia, Albania and Greece. However, the Republic's influence began to decline in the 18th century, with the emergence of new maritime trade routes. The navy suffered a series of devastating defeats, leading to the invasion of Venice by French and Austrian troops in 1797. Consequently, the city was partitioned between these two empires. Situated in the northwestern part of Iberia, this small microstate found itself sandwiched between Spain and Portugal. It managed to maintain its independence for an impressive seven centuries, thanks to a peculiar arrangement in medieval manorial relations that exempted it from the control of both countries. Consisting of three tiny villages, Kuto Misto relished in various benefits, such as being exempt from taxes and having the authority to offer asylum. However, as expected, this unique status couldn't last indefinitely, and the microstate was eventually dissolved by the Treaty of Lisbon in 1864. The ancient kingdom, encompassing what is now the Czech Republic, was founded in the late 12th century by the royal house of Premislid. It was a part of the Holy Roman Empire, a collection of mostly autonomous states across Central Europe. During the 14th century, known as the Golden Age of Czech history, the kingdom reached its peak. After the collapse of the Holy Roman Empire in 1806, Bohemia became a part of the Austrian Empire, and remained so until 1918, when it became an integral part of the newly formed Czechoslovakia. The Ethiopian Empire, also known as Abyssinia, ruled over present-day Ethiopia and Eritrea for a span of seven centuries. It was governed by the Solomonic dynasty, who traced their lineage back to the legendary King Solomon and Queen of Sheba. Unlike most African nations, Abyssinia, along with Liberia, managed to fend off colonization during the 19th century scramble for Africa. However, its reign came to an end in 1974, when Emperor Haile Selassie was overthrown by the Communist Derg, leading to the establishment of the People's Republic of Ethiopia. In 1324, James II of Aragon established the Kingdom of Sardinia, which later became part of the Spanish Empire. In 1720 it was handed over to the Duke of Savoy, who merged it with his territories on the Italian mainland. By 1848, the kingdom had achieved unity under a single system and had incorporated Lombardy, the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies, and the Central Italian States by 1861. In that same year, the Kingdom of Sardinia was renamed the Kingdom of Italy and the capital was relocated from Turin to Florence, and eventually to Rome. The Principality of Moldavia, situated in present-day Romania, Moldova and Ukraine, was established in 1346 and maintained its independence until 1514, when ruler Bogdan III the One-Eyed surrendered to Ottoman rule. Despite this, Moldavia retained a significant level of self-governance, and existed as a separate nation for many centuries. However, in 1859, it joined forces with Wallachia, marking the end of Moldavia as an independent entity and laying the groundwork for the creation of modern-day Romania. The Ayutthaya Kingdom, encompassing a large part of present-day Thailand, had surpassed the wealth of numerous European nations by the 17th century. This Siamese kingdom was a bustling hub of global trade, with its capital city rivaling the grandeur and size of Paris. Regrettably, the prosperous era eventually came to an end. Trade dwindled in the early 18th century, leading to a tumultuous power struggle. Ayutthaya, weakened by economic hardships and political instability, faced a brutal siege by the Burmese army in 1765 and ultimately succumbed in 1767, signifying the downfall of this once magnificent realm. 
King Andrea Manilow established the Marina Kingdom in 1540, which once encompassed a significant portion of Madagascar. The Marina monarchs played a crucial role in promoting agriculture and fostering trade relations with Europe. Unfortunately, the kingdom fell victim to the 19th century scramble for Africa, as France invaded and colonized it in 1883 and 1897 respectively. Consequently, it was renamed the Malagasy Protectorate. Queen Ranavalona III, the final ruler, was forced into exile in French Algeria and passed away there in 1917. In present-day Benin, the Fon people founded the Kingdom of Dahomey in the 1600s, which eventually became a significant force in the region. The kingdom's prosperity relied on slavery and trade, allowing it to thrive as an independent nation for many years. Dahomey gained renown for its formidable female Amazon warriors and held grand ceremonial events that included large-scale human sacrifices. However, the kingdom eventually succumbed to the European scramble for Africa, when French forces defeated King Behanzen's troops at the Battle of Kana in 1893. In 1795, the Kingdom of Hawaii came into existence as the island states of Hawaii, Oahu, Maui, Molokai and Lanai joined forces under the leadership of King Kamehameha the Great. This vulnerable nation held a crucial position and resisted colonization attempts by the British and French. Worried about a rival seizing Hawaii, the United States got involved to safeguard American business interests by supporting a coup against Queen Lilio Kalani in 1893. Eventually, in 1897, the U.S. annexed the kingdom to prevent any unfavorable changes to the country's constitution. Simón Bolívar, a Venezuelan military leader, was inspired by the Enlightenment ideas and initiated a movement in 1808 to free his nation from Spanish control. He successfully defeated the colonial power during the Venezuelan War of Independence. In 1819, the formation of Gran Colombia took place, comprising Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador and parts of Peru. However, despite Bolivar's dedicated efforts, the Union faced internal conflicts and eventually dissolved after only 12 years. The Republic of Texas didn't stick around for very long. It covered present-day Texas and some parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, New Mexico, Colorado and Wyoming. With a significant number of American settlers, Texas declared independence from Mexico in 1836 during the Texas Revolution. However, Mexico never recognized Texas as a separate country and posed a constant threat, worried about a potential invasion. Most Texans wanted to join the United States. Despite initial hesitation from the American government, who were reluctant to take on a heavily indebted territory that allowed slavery, Texas became the 28th state in 1846 through annexation. In February 1861, after President Abraham Lincoln took office, seven American states that allowed slavery came together to form the Confederacy. Despite Lincoln's anti-slavery stance during his campaign, the Confederacy was determined to keep their slaves. Eventually, the Confederacy's aggression led to the start of the American Civil War, when they attacked Union forces at Fort Sumter in April 1861. The war lasted for four years and in the end, the South surrendered, marking the end of the short-lived Confederacy. In that same year, the 13th Amendment was passed, officially abolishing slavery in the nation. The Austro-Prussian War of 1866 left the Austrian Empire in ruins, leading to its alliance with the Kingdom of Hungary in the subsequent year. Austria-Hungary emerged as a formidable force in Europe, playing a significant role on the continent. Not only did it possess a formidable military, but it also stood as one of the world's top manufacturing nations. Unfortunately, its fate took a turn for the worse during the First World War, resulting in its dissolution in 1918. In 1912, Tibet gained de facto independence from China's Qin dynasty. The Chinese troops were expelled and the 13th Dalai Lama proclaimed independence in the subsequent year. Despite being officially under China's protection, Tibet had a significant level of self-governance, however. This changed dramatically when the Chinese Communist Party triumphed over the nationalist government in the Chinese Civil War. In 1950, the People's Liberation Army invaded Tibet, establishing Beijing's control over the region, and terminating its de facto independence the following year. Even today, some individuals perceive Tibet as an independent nation. In 1918, Yugoslavia, also known as the Land of Southern Slavs, was established after the collapse of Austria-Hungary. 
Initially, it was a kingdom until the Second World War, when King Peter II was overthrown and Yugoslavia transformed into a socialist republic, under the rule of dictator Josip Braz Tito. Tito managed to keep the country united, but after his passing in 1980, ethnic tensions started to rise as the economy struggled. Eventually, Slovenia and Croatia declared their independence in 1991, triggering the bitter Yugoslav wars that ultimately led to the dissolution of the nation in 1992. In 1918, Czechoslovakia emerged from the remnants of Austria-Hungary, which encompassed the Kingdom of Bohemia. Initially, it began as a democratic republic, but later transformed into a communist satellite state of the USSR in 1946. The country remained under communist rule until 1989, when the peaceful Velvet Revolution brought an end to one-party dominance. Subsequently, growing nationalist feelings among Czechs and Slovaks led to the dissolution of Czechoslovakia in 1992, resulting in the formation of two independent nations, the Czech Republic and Slovakia. The USSR, Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, a superpower of the 20th century, was established in 1922 after a brutal civil war that saw the Communist Reds emerge victorious. It was a one-party state consisting of several Soviet republics, and from the very beginning, it clashed with the capitalist West. This clash of ideologies eventually led to the Cold War, a tense period that brought the world dangerously close to nuclear conflict. However, the USSR's rigid communist principles ultimately led to its downfall. By the 1980s, both its economy and political system were crumbling. The final blow came in 1989, with the fall of communism in Eastern Europe, and in 1991, the USSR was officially dissolved. After World War II, Germany was divided into three Western zones and one Soviet zone. The Western zones came together to form West Germany, also known as the Federal Republic of Germany. On the other hand, the Soviet zone became East Germany, or the German Democratic Republic. In 1961, East Germany built the infamous Berlin Wall to prevent its citizens from fleeing to the wealthier West. However, by the late 1980s, the regime was facing political and economic collapse. The peaceful revolution of 1989 ultimately led to the fall of the Iron Curtain and the reunification of Germany. Ho Chi Minh, a communist revolutionary, proclaimed independence from French Indochina in 1945. By the early 1950s, he had gained control over much of northern Vietnam and eventually defeated the former colonial power in 1954. As a result of the subsequent peace talks, Vietnam was granted independence, but was divided into two separate zones, North Vietnam and South Vietnam. The plan was to hold elections in 1956 to reunite the country. However, No Dinh Diem, the leader of South Vietnam and an opponent of communism, refused to hold the reunification elections. This decision sparked a violent and bloody conflict known as the Vietnam War, which lasted for 20 years. Despite the involvement of US, Australian and Thai forces, the South was ultimately defeated by the North, which was supported by the Soviet Union and China. In 1976, the two zones were reunited, resulting in the creation of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Nasser had a vision of building a strong pan-Arab nation rooted in socialist ideals. He took the first step towards this dream in 1958 by forming the United Arab Republic, which brought together Egypt and Syria. Unfortunately, the union didn't stand the test of time and dissolved after only three years. Nasser's socialist policies and Egypt's dominance within the UAR didn't sit well with the Syrian elite, leading to a coup that terminated the alliance in 1961. Nevertheless, Egypt continued to use the name UAR for another decade. Eager to hold on to power during Africa's decolonization, the South Rhodesian government, which had been under UK rule since 1923, boldly declared independence in 1965. Despite lacking international recognition, this renegade nation functioned as a de facto country for 14 years. The regime faced strong opposition, leading to a fierce conflict involving the Rhodesian government, Marxist-Leninist Zipra and Robert Mugabe's ZANU, with the latter emerging victorious. In 1979, hostilities ceased, marking the end of white minority rule and the Republic of Zimbabwe was officially established the following year. I wrap up my discussion for now, but don't worry, there's more exciting content coming your way.
Join me in my next video as I delve into new topics and explore fascinating subjects. Until then, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye for now. We delve into the depths of extensive research and invest a significant amount of time to bring you valuable information. Our relentless dedication and hard work are aimed at delivering a high-quality outcome. We kindly request your support in our journey by liking, subscribing, and sharing our content. Your encouragement fuels our motivation to continue producing informative videos. Join us in our pursuit of knowledge and help us make a difference. Thank you for your support.